here I have a Nintendo DS and the issue is it's not charging even though it's plugged in I like I like how you can just take out the battery. Very replaceable. That is really nice. Alright. So let's have a screw in here. that screw those four screws are all the same size when I grew up I didn't actually play with the Nintendo DS my family wasn't kind of grew up on the farm it looks like you can just charge by using these two contacts Hmm, very interesting. I do remember my cousins, they had this black and white Game Boy. So, at Christmas time when we went up to my grandma's, we would play. But at home, we would just play the uh, old Nintendo... NES games like Captain Skyhawk and things like that. So, hmm. Um, this should be able to open. Uh, oh, there's the other screw here, which I didn't see. Now let's try it. something yeah two screws underneath these little rubber pads all 
And those screws look the same length as the other ones, which is good. Okay. So. It has two little tabs for the little buttons on either side. does get some power. So I plug that in and I want to measure the voltage here. So it could be just this cable that's the problem, you know? I guess I should have tested that out first before ripping the whole thing apart, but hey, what can you do? It's fun taking things apart. Yeah, so I'm not measuring any voltage on this and the port actually looks fine. So I think it's the actual cable. So I cut the cable. And you can see there's a black and white. Uh, sorry, there's a black and red. So there's positive and negative. We should get 5 volts at, on this wire. Let's see what we measure here. I measure five volts. Yeah, no continuity on the ground. Let's check VCC here. So we'll switch it over. And VCC, do we have? So in inside the port inside this port there's these little pins right here and the right one is connected to VCC so the left one ground's not working. So I'm gonna shorten this even more because I don't know where the segment is. So I'm just gonna cut it right up here. Okay. And so basically we're, we're eliminating all this wire. So it's either here, usually the brake will be up at the, close to the head anyways, so. And we're checking out the ground. Still nothing. It's not really, uh, it's all kind of like glued in this plastic stuff here. But that's what, when this wire moves, that's why it uh, doesn't charge. It's because of this head. I'll see online if I can order a new cable. So after I plugged it in, you can see it is charging now. And it did have a funny thing with the screen. So I'm just doing the calibration. Um, with the little, to calibrate tap. So hopefully this has fixed your problem. If it has, give a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, um, I am an author as well.
on Amazon. So if you want to su support the channel, you can go to amazon.com or .ca and type in my name. It's uh, Benjamin Newson, And I've just recently published uh, a couple books. Um, uh, my very first novel is called Heart of Stone. It's an interesting uh, story about the end times and this guy's having dreams and then his dreams become real in a science fiction novel. I also have a other uh, book called uh, Unlocking Your Mind about memory tricks if for studying techniques as I'm a teacher. So several years there. And over the Great Wall, I've uh, written about my life experiences seven years uh, abroad in China. So um, have a good day and I'll see you in the next repair video.